Yo, this is Italo Plays Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor. Here we go, guys. It's time for DLC. We completed the post game last time, and now it's time to explore new regions added with the DLC content with the expansion passes. So, how do you even get these expansion passes? Well, once the expansion pass was announced, you could order them right here in the menu on the bottom right. They can't be done here because I already have done it. Once you successfully order those games with the eShop, you can go to your bag and you can see on the very far corner on the key item sections, you go down to the bottom and you will have two special items. And that is the armor pass and the crown pass. So armor pass sends you to the Isle of Armor from Wedgeshirt Station and the crown pass sends you to the Crown Tundra of Wedgeshirt Station, which is where we are now. We will go to Crown Tundra later on, but we're going to start our journey first with the Isle of Armor and after that we are going to head over to the Crown Tundra. Now, storyline-wise, I would say Crown Tundra is much bigger than Isle of Armor, so Isle of Armor will probably be a bit on the short range, but don't worry, there's still enough things to do, and... I mean, the whole areas when Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are major, major wild areas. So, it's, it's very fun. Now, you can go to Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra as soon as you buy the DLC and get to at your station the first time. But I strongly recommend to not go to Isle of Armor or Crown Tundra before after completing the, the main game. You can go there after you beat the main game, but I would also recommend to do the post game like I have done first. Because some of the events in both Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra requires you to have high level Pokemon. So, yeah, there's no real reason to go there early. Unless you're just curious. Because Pokemon do scale, but storyline you can't complete before you are high level anyway. Now, let's no more talk about that. Now, to get to the Isle of Armor, head to Wedge Station. If you haven't done to Wedge or haven't been there in a while, it's basically the second town in the game after Postwick. So you go here, you fly here, go from the Pokemon Center, and you go down to the Wedge Station. So I'm gonna use the same team as I've done with the, the game so far Talk to today, Rillaboom, Cinderace. Corviknight, Entellion, and Sazian will be my team. I feel it's a good balanced team. I have all the starters. I have Electric Poison type. I have a Flying Steel type. And of course my very mighty legendary Fairy type. Which also becomes a Steel type when he has the sword on. And he always has the sword on. So he will be Fairy Steel. And Sazian is maybe one of the most OP Pokemon. I mean, in the Smogon recently he was actually banned from Ubers because being too powerful. That's only happened to one other Pokemon in the past, and that was Rayquaza in his Mega Evolutional form for Gen 6 and Gen 7. So, yeah, he's uh, he's pretty good. Now, let's no more talking. Let's get going. And the Wedger Station. And then you talk to this guy here, and you tell him that you have a special armor pass. Oh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. You have a crown pass too. You can also go to the crown tundra. Where would you like to go today? So select armor station for Isle of Armor and crown tundra station for the crown tundra. So let's take armor station. Now where is armor Isle of Armor located? Well, after you head there, it will then send you to the part east of the continent and here we are guys the Isle of Armor Coronal Express lands in the station and here we are is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island you want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island to your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. It's being updated, and Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. 
when you caught a lot of Pokemon in the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. So what does this mean? Well, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra introduces a lot of Pokemon that was not cap catchable in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So that means there were no, now there were more Pokemon. So the original Pokedex has 400 Pokemon. In the Pokedex for Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, there's roughly around 200 each, but some of them are Pokemon from the base area as well. So I think they are almost everyone. I think there's like 200 Pokemon that's missing. Which we will never get in Sword and Shield, sadly, but that's just how it is. Here's the Pokedex, and here's the Isle of Arm Pokedex. I only caught 6 and seen 63. So we got the Slowpoke. This was one in the early episodes. This was basically the Pokemon you've been shown off when you get the uh, Isle of Armor and Crown Tunnel DLC. We saw that in my Let's Play. That's the Galarian Slowpoke, which you can find here on the Isle of Armor. Squawet the Greedent can also be found here. Litbug, Dutler, or Beetle, Applin. I mean, as you can see, some of these Pokemon here have we have seen before. Some of them we ha in this one, though, are exclusive to Isle of Armor in Sword and Shield. So you can only get them here. So that's cool, right? So then there's a lot more Pokemon to catch and a lot more Pokemon to fight and enjoy. What's this? I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but... It's a strange person standing outside a station. And I'm a bit scared to head out. Huh? Ah, it's her again. Aha, there you are. Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm. Hey, have we met before or something? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo a while, so they sent me to help out the newbie. Uh, what dojo? Oh, come on! I know you're a new student who's supposed to join the master dojo. Huh? What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? But I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. Well then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so you know, we can see who's better. I'll be waiting outside, so come on out when you're ready. Okay. He'll never know what hit him. So basically, you might have seen this person before, right? Yeah, when we were first seeing the Galarian Slowpoke, that's basically when you first meet them. So, that's Clara. She's exclusive to Pokemon Sword. The guy you meet at Pokemon Shield is called Avery. He is the guy with the big top hat, and he's also kind of the same, like, egotistical attitude. But we'll see how it goes, though. Hmm. Should I change my typing here a bit, maybe? Hmm. Should we? Or. Actually, I think I will. Yes. Let's use Corbinite here. Who's this guy then? A uh, Pokemon. Yeah, this is the only Pokemon in the whole Isle of Armor. So, if you want to buy stuff, you want to come to this guy. He has all the stuff you want, though. He has Pokeballs, he has potions, he has some extra stores, full restores. I mean, we have potion full restores. Antidotes, full heals, revive, repels, Pokedolls. I mean, he has everything you want. Why did this guy want to move, though? Was that the person from the dojo? Uh, maybe I'll pass on joining. Hey, won't you join instead? What is the dojo? I mean, I don't even know. I just came here. So we want to battle with this Clara? Should we though? Well, sure. So here it is, guys. This is the Isle of Armor. As you can see, it's a very subtropical type of climate in this place. <laughs> I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armor. I bet you can't wait to start exploring. But first things first. We need to make you sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Mata Dojo for a little while now. I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? And here we go. So Pokemon Shield will not be facing this, but Pokemon Sword will. It's Clara. 
Claw will use Venipede. So, Clara and... Remember, there's a test. Take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle. and knock you out flat. So, Clara and um, Avery, they are a bit different. So, Clara is specializing in poison types, while Avery in Pokemon Shield is specialized in psychic types. Aside from that, though, they have some Pokemon which are similar, but you will get to know them soon. So this is Venipede from Generation 5. He's dual-type bug and poison. And as you can see, I have no Pokedex data on him because I, from what I think, he's actually one of the new Pokemon you only can find in the Isle of Armor. So basically, you can't find him in the Gala region at all. Well, let's go with Brain Bird. Now, Venipede's level is 58. The reason it's 58 is because Pokemon here scale depending on how the story progression in the main, main region is. So if you just came here and went church the first time, then it might be much lower level. Okay, that was first one. Here comes the Slowpoke. Now we are in the Galar region, guys, so this is going to be the Galarian Slowpoke, which means it's a Psychic type only. No water typing, only a Psychic type. So I'm going to stick then with Corviknight. Oh, am I the one that's getting back in the corner? This should not be a thing. Yeah, the Clara can be a bit of an egotistical person, and the same goes for Avery as well in Pokemon Shield. Actually, I should have changed there, but nah, it's fine. So this is a pure Psychic type, which is good for uh, Corviknight. He's resistant to Psychic. Let's just go with uh, Steel Wing. Whoa, nice critical hit there. And we'll use Confusion, a Psychic type move. Low damage onto a Steel type. Steel type looking care. Look at the first damage you can dial of armor, because it's a gift for me. Wow. First damage. I guess that's the only damage I will take from this fight, though. Second Steel Wing hits, and this Galarian Slowpoke is down. And Intel is low 73, so we're getting some levels. That's good. That was Clara. Oh, my next Pokemon's gonna make short work or... Huh? That was my last one? Aw, oh, poor Clara. Huh? No, 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 no! There must be some mistake! Not good, not good at all, man. How does this kid get so strong? This kid goes to Jojo. Nobody's gonna pay attention to my strength. I'll just tell him to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring the new student. Mm. <clears throat> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, not like I was going all out, not at all, but still. But you see, our daughter's one that's got a long standing reputation. You and the famous champion Leon train at our place. No offense, but maybe, maybe you're not quite good enough to make it. So, how about this? Let the joy decides but stay away from the Master Dojo over there, okay? Here, I'll give you this. You know, as a souvenir. With style card. This is nice. So this is basically an item that which allows you to get some new haircuts and a new clothing you can buy in the saloons and boutiques, which basically were uh, made for Pokemon Isle of Armor. So that's pretty nice. Just show it when you visit a particular hair saloon and they will let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway, guess that's it. Say never. <laughs> wow. I guess you took that defeat a bit harsh. Now, we have a bit few minutes we can still play, so as you can see, where we are at the Isle of Armor. Click on the map. As you can see, the Isle of Armor is basically one huge wild area. Location-wise though, as you can see, is basically east of the Galar continent, roughly east of Spikemouth, and there's a lot of interesting places here. So we have the dojo here, you have a few towers here as well, which you might think, what are these two towers? And there's generally a very large, nice island. All of this, all of this is wild area. So if you like the wild area, you're going to love this one. 
And yeah, see, there's going to be a lot of random items in here. Galarica twigs, which are connected to the Galarian Slowpoke, in a way. There's a grass here, so you can find some Pokemon here. There's Jigglypuff. See, there's Starmie here, Galarian Slowpoke. See, even a Comfy in here. What's this? Ah, Rockruff. Kingler. Galarian Slowpoke. And of course, there's going to be these Dynamax Dens here as well. Abra is here. Ah. Generation 6 Pokemon here too. I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon here that wasn't available in the Gala region. Are now here. Monary is here. Sunstone. So, the other cool thing is just like the Wild Air is that a lot of these items here, like the Sunstone and so on, they are respawning kind of much every day, but not have all chances. Oh, yeah, chance is here too. If you see a chance like this, you should fight it. Why? Because Chansey gives a lot of EXP. Not only that, but if there's fog in the wild in the Isle of Armor, that means you also have a chance to find Blissey, evolved form of Chansey, which gives a massive amount of EXP. So in my opinion, when you are traversing in Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, especially Wild Isle of Armor, if you do see Fog, you should fight. You can fight Chansey and maybe even the Blizzy. See the XP here. See? XP pretty really good. Kovac directed to 69 already. And Tuck Twisted level 70. So the XP is pretty good. Jigglypuff is here. I mean, there's, there's a lot of Pokemon there to get. If you really like to get a lot of new Pokemon, this is the way. Oh, another Chansey. Always fight them. Do the XP. Alright, so let's do another one more Steel Wing. That's just so weak defensively. But it gives so much XP. It's also 72. So you can see here the XP is. Nice. That looks, looks like to be the Master Dojo. And what's that icon? It looks like some Pokemon I have never seen before. Hmm. What could it be? Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, guys, we're going to enter the Master Dojo. Yeah, we're not going to listen to Clara. We're going to do things on our own. And after that, we're going to continue to explore this nice, nice looking area. The Isle of Armor. Let's see what more we can find. More Pokemon. More, tr maybe some trainers to fight. And maybe even cool st more stuff. So yeah, welcome guys to the DLC. It's going to be a nice journey. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And that's good for now. See you guys next time with my journey in Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor. Continues.